Well, you can imagine the sense of loss we are feeling here at WBOC tonight over the passing of Tom Draper, and we're very grateful for the many condolences we've received here at the station. Absolutely. In tonight's travels, Charlie shares some thoughts on what Tom was and will always be to those of us who work here at WBOC. When I first heard the news that Tom Draper had been injured yesterday, my world just stopped. I drove out in the country in a WBOC car, wearing a WBOC hat, listening to WBOC radio with a heavy WBOC heart. And I thought about how profoundly my life had been changed by Mr. Tom Draper. Well, new information continues to come in from the van attack in Barcelona. It's impossible to truly comprehend, I think, for any of us here as we do our jobs in this spaceship-like place we call the Newsplex. Impossible in the same way it's impossible for a fish to comprehend the sea. He was our leader and our boss, but Tom was also our friend and a true friend. And as anyone who really knew Tom Draper will attest, if you had to have but one friend on earth, Tom would have been your best choice. The Wall Street Journal. He was, in truth, your friend too, for Delmarva never had a better friend than Tom Draper. And the reason you can hear my voice from one end of this blessed peninsula to the other and around the world is that Tom Draper made it so. The more things change, the more things stay the same. And, our and because he was a true leader, we have no confusion about what to do now. He was recovered with just minor injuries. We follow the same path we have always followed and serve the people of Delmarva as we have always done. And in doing so, we will honor a good and honorable man, Mr. Tom Draper. With a heavy but grateful heart, this is Charles Paparella for WBOC News.